Good afternoon, I'm KHU 11 meteorologist Chris Ramirez. We are feeling the effects of that cold front that's brought us sunny conditions. I don't know if you woke up this morning and felt the cooler temperatures. Definitely seeing some temps in the 60s this morning, but we are still going to see the dry air in place for the rest of this evening and into the overnight hours. Overnight lows dropping to about 80 degrees, 79 by 10 p.m. Overnight lows, we're going to see those morning temperatures get to about in the 60s for tomorrow. So we're just going to be a bit cooler as we head into the early morning hours of Sunday. So expect 60 degree temps. I wouldn't be surprised if some of us in our northern counties actually wake up in the 50s. So something to look forward to and enjoy it while it lasts because this is only going to be brief as we are going to see the return of the humidity and warmer temperatures heading into the afternoon hours into the early hours of Sunday. So those low temps expected to remain in the 60s, at least through Monday. We're going to be back into the 70s uh, before you know it. So very brief taste of fall. Once we go into Monday, we're going to see the return of that tropical moisture. And in terms of tropics, we are tracking a tropical wave that's currently in the Bay of Campeche. It has a 70% chance of development within the next seven days. Right now we're seeing a disorganized area of storms in the Bay of Campeche. That cold front that arrived or, or it's that the one that's arriving has pushed all of that tropical and moisture south of us. But just keep in mind that this wave could end up in the southern Gulf uh, by uh, Monday and something that we're going to have to keep an eye on. Like I said, you see that frontal boundary right there just south of Houston. That's keeping that tropical moisture at bay. However, Weather models are indicating that that frontal system is going to start retreating back north over the Houston area. So once it heads north of Houston as a stationary boundary, that's going to open up the door for some uh, some possible tropical moisture as well as the return of rain chances. Of course, there's still a lot of uncertainty involving this system in the southern Gulf. So it's something that we're going to have to keep an eye on day by day as we progress throughout the next few days. And you can always do that here on uh, KHOU.com or on KHOU Plus. But looking at future tracks, we are expecting uh, that low pressure system to move through the Gulf of Mexico, bringing that rain chance across for our coastal areas. So there is going to be an increased risk of flooding for our coastal areas Wednesday night into the early hours of Thursday. Of course, the National Hurricane Center has uh, upped this uh, development into a 70% chance of development uh, within the next few days into a tropical depression. So we are going to have to continue monitoring what's going on in the Gulf, at least for the rest of this weekend. Uh, we could see more heavy rain for our coastal areas by next week, and that is on Wednesday and Thursday. And that's the reason why the KHOU 11 weather team has issued weather impact alert days for Wednesday and Thursday. So check the forecast at least once or twice a day. We are in the peak of hurricane season, and so what usually happens during the peak of hurricane season, anything that's out in the Atlantic Basin has the potential to form into something uh, pretty fast. So you could see a change in the forecast within 24 hours, so something to keep an eye on. Uh, but just looking at the Atlantic Basin names, if we do get another system forming into the Atlantic Basin, our next name would be Francine. But of course, too early to tell whether or not the, that system is going to form into a tropical depression. It looks like it's uh, starting to amp up as we head into the coming days, but just keep in mind that we are in the peak of hurricane season. So that's uh, on September 10th, and we've seen some pretty strong hurricanes uh, towards the middle and end of September. Of course, we had Rita, we had Katrina uh, that hit New Orleans. So that's not say that's not going to happen, but just keep in mind to have uh, be vigilant on the forecast at least through the next few days. So in terms of our seven day forecast, the KHOU 11 weather weather team is issuing a weather impact alert for Wednesday into Thursday as that rain chant is going to significantly start increasing for us here across our area. And then we are expecting that to continue, that rain chance to continue at least uh, by early hours of Friday. The good news in all of this is that, that once that system moves through, we are expecting it to uh, sort of diminish as we head into the early hours of Friday. So Friday looking more likely that we're going to start seeing the uh, impacts of that system 
starting to move off towards the north of us uh, as we head into the coming days. So uh, be extra cautious if you are uh, heading across our area roadways uh, for the middle of the week, but uh, just keep in mind that that weather impact alert day is going to be issued for, uh, for Wednesday into Thursday. And like I said, 70% chance of development with that system that is currently in the uh, Bay of Campeche, Southern Gulf of Mexico. And at the current moment, we have seen some vast changes in this system uh, that we've seen at least for the past 24 hours. So even though it's at a 70% chance now, and depending on when you're watching this recording, might want to check back on KHOU.com to see the updated information because it very well could increase uh, in the next 24 to 48 hours. So lots of disorganization ongoing. We have that frontal boundary that's keeping all that tropical moisture south. There was that coastal low that was just offshore uh, the Houston area. That in turn is uh, not going to develop into anything. It's what's really happening just well south of us. And of course, uh, weather models are indicating uh, that that wave the, it's going to become more centralized into a low pressure system. And that uh, is very likely to move into the southern Gulf uh, by Monday. And in terms of that cold front, like I said, that cold front not lasting all too longer heading into Monday. We're going to see that retreat back up to the north. That's going to increase our rain chances for Wednesday and Thursday, our coastal areas, Galveston, Brazosport, even Matagorda Bay, likely to see some increasing rain chances for the middle of the week. And that in turn is going to uh, uh, cause that, uh, that flooding concern because those areas have already received saturated soil. So we're monitoring the Gulf uh, for the rest of the weekend and for much of next week, we very well could see heavy rain despite what happens in the tropics, whether or not this forms into a tropical depression. It's still going to bring some heavy rain uh, for some of us uh, south of downtown Houston for next week. So check the forecast at least once or twice a day uh, and of course, uh, we will give you the latest information. You can always check the latest on KHU.com as well as on the KHU 11 app.